Hi, my dear friends. Today I have a story to tell you. Actually, it's a testimony of a very, very good sister of mine that I love dearly. And she had an experience here in this house that I want to share with you because it can be very useful for you. You will see why. Those who come to serve Our Lady to be at her disposal for one year, two years, well, the experience, um, the transformation with the School of Our Lady, and they try to live the messages, they try to live the fasting, the prayer of the rosary, all the sacraments and all the messages, and it's a lifetime job, I would say. I'm very happy to see the transformation of these people. There was a beautiful young girl who came, and you know her, some of you know her, Rosie, from New Jersey. She came and she spent actually three years with us here as my special assistant, before she went back to the States, got married, now she has two children. Okay, now, uh, she was good, she was really good in many ways, but she had a terrible defect that she needed one pack a day of cigarettes. And that was her sadness because she tried to, uh, to avoid it. She tried to, um, to get rid of it and it never, never worked. It was always a failure and she tried to no avail. It was bad because she had to go out of the house in the garden to, to smoke. So she was deprived from some good time that we had together inside. And of course, it was costly and, 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 okay. So you know what it is for a smoker. The very first apparition of Our Lady here in Medjugorje was on the 24th, June 81. So on the 25th anniversary of the apparition, Rosie decided to give a beautiful present gift to Our Lady. And she decided something very, very hard for her she decided that from 24 hours from the apparition of the 24th until the 25th, the next day, to not smoke. And she courageously gave that present to Our Lady during the apparition of the 24th. And she was a little bit afraid because it's going to be, it was going to be very hard. She was afraid to be nasty, to be impossible to live with, because it was really a need of her body to smoke. At any rate, she made that promise to Our Lady and time passed by and during that all 24 hours, she had only one dream. She was thinking of the next cigarette she will be able to smoke the next day after 24 hours of great deep penance. And, but she made it, you know, she made it. She got the grace to make it and we, we tried to be nice, nice to her and to encourage her to, to keep up with that promise. Anyway, she made it and arrived the blessed hour of the apparition of the 25th of June. She ran outside after the prayer for the apparition. And the first thing, of course, she did was to pick up a cigarette. She inhaled the cigarette, she breathed the cigarette, and she spat. The laugh, disgusting. And she said, oh, I'm sick or what? I'm sick. And she came back in the house and I can't, I can't. I, what's wrong with me? So she ran out again in the garden and tried another a cigarette. Same thing. She spat and she said, ah, what's wrong with me? It's disgusting, this cigarette. And to make a long story short, she tried three times. And the third time when she came back to the house, she said, well, the same thing happened. I, I, I don't know what's happening to me. I just can't then those cigarettes. And um, I said, Rosie, hello, <laughs> do you, don't you understand, don't you understand that Our Lady gave you the gift of being freed from cigarette, from tobacco, rejoice. And no, 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 I will try again. So she tried again several times, it never worked. So she was really freed from the cigarette and she was so happy. Now that was not the only gift that she got on that day because, um, so she stopped completely the cigarettes, but for two or three weeks, very often in the day, she would spit a kind of mucus that was brown, black, and disgusting. And when she saw that, 
She said, what? What? I didn't realize all the pollution that I have absorbed through the cigarettes along my years, you know. So she was freed from that because after those two, three weeks, it was back to normal. And she realized that in a very short time, Our Lady had purified her entire body from tobacco and the consequences because she knew that it takes like, let's say, seven years more or less to uh, to be completely freed from the consequences of uh, smoking for a normal body, you know. And she got it in two, three weeks. And the great joy for her was, um, not, well, to welcome the tender, motherly tenderness of Our Lady in that incredible gift that she got, but also to be able to climb the mountains without being exhausted. Before she was exhausted, she would sweat and be exhausted, but now she can climb the mountains and freely she goes faster and she prays better. She doesn't have that, that weight, you know, that burden of uh, heavy lungs, you know. Her lungs have been purified. So the, the lesson I want to uh, share with you is that, well, Our Lady is a mother And the slightest little gift we offer her out of love, out of gratitude, she can send a beautiful gift in return. Now, I had also a similar experience, and I will conclude like that. Um, for years, I had a very bad habit. It was automatic. It was really automatic. I would scratch my lips to the point that sometimes it was bleeding. So it was ugly and it was, uh, it was bad. Actually, it was stronger than me. I couldn't help it, I had to scratch my lips. You know, some people have other kind of uh, automatic um, uh, bad habit, like doing this or anything, and they can't help it. So that was it, I couldn't help it. But one day, long ago, actually when I arrived in Medjugorje, same thing happened, though it was much before Rosie, uh, I decided to give to Our Lady a very big effort to, um, to stop that. So one day, same thing, it was the 24th of June, and I wanted to give that gift to Our Lady, and I decided to be very, very attentive and to prevent my hands to get to my lips and scratch my lips. I knew it would have been very difficult, but I decided to be very attentive, very watching, watching. So, by the grace of God, I made it. The 24 hours passed by, and the next day at 6.40, I could tell Our Lady, thank you, thank you, you helped me do that. I'm so happy to give you that gift for 24 hours. But my surprise was that after this apparition of the second day, it was over. It was just over. I just did not do it once in my life after that. I was freed from that bad habit. So praise God. Sometimes we have bad tendencies, bad habits in any field of our life, whatever it is, and we can try that to give that gift. We call it now, it's an expression that became famous, the 24 hours of the gospel. You see? And uh, I was surprised that when I gave that testimony, I received some testimonies from other people telling me, I did it, sister, I did it. And uh, some smokers stopped smoking. Some drug addicts stopped being addicted. Wow. I even, <laughs> I have to laugh because some one day I received a letter and it was written, Oh, sister, thank you for your testimony about the 24 hours of the gospel. Because, you know, I had a terrible tendency, a terrible habit. I couldn't look at a woman, especially the young ones, without having bad thoughts and even thoughts of lust. It was stronger than me. And when I was very watchful for 24 hours, as you explained in your testimony, after that I was freed. And the, the funny thing is that at the end of the letter, he wrote, I must say, sister, that I'm 70 years old. <laughs> See, never too late, never too late. So to make a long story short, I'm sure you will find something to give up for Our Lady, whatever it is. It can be very small, very, very small. 
but remember she's a very loving mother okay now i have to be very clear on one point is that with god as usual there is nothing automatic nothing not even with our lady i mean by this it's not because you um you do the 24 hours of the gospel with an offering of something that is wrong in your life a defect uh, an addiction or something wrong something bad yeah uh, it doesn't mean that automatically you will be freed from that or healed from that or uh, you get rid of that defect i did receive testimonies of people who stopped smoking for 24 hours and they were not healed later yes they had some other favors from god or even those favors can fall on someone else a, a son a daughter uh, a relative maybe you know god is free god is free but what i want to point out is that god is always extremely touched and grateful for everything we offer him and same with our lady even the flower you offer to her she's so grateful she will never forget and she will reward you at her time in her way but it was beautiful to see the fruit of this offering from uh, many people doing the 24 hours of the gospel it's always well accepted by god and always fruitful i wanted to be specific for that so my point is that we cannot imagine the immense love of our lady so many times she said my unlimited love my unlimited tenderness and she wants us to be free she wants us to be beautiful and the slightest little thing we give she's so happy to give back much more so my friend just try try the 24 hours of the gospel you won't be disappointed may god bless you